Lewis Ham used to be a small, old Kentish Anglo-Saxon village until it was connected to London in 1889. For the average Londoner, Islam is one of the most talked about religion. The growth has been rapid and consistent. When the source of driving this growth is researched, you are likely to find closely knitted communities, mosques, and motivated individuals. Among them is Lewis Ham Islamic Center, Lewis Ham Mosque, in southeast London. At a first glance, Lewis Ham Mosque looks like every other regular mosque, but stepping into the premises of the mosque would reveal a hub of different activities aimed at fostering community engagement and spreading the reach of Islam. For the average non-Muslim local, Lewis Ham Mosque is the place to go when contemplating on becoming a Muslim. For the Muslims, they are assured that they have a community they can call their own at any time. Lewis Ham Islamic Center started when a few Muslims gathered to offer the weekly Jumu'at prayer in the house of one of them. The community gradually grew and it was then named Lewis Ham and Kent Islamic Center when the members pulled the resources together to purchase a property for the use of the community at Brown Hill Road, Catford. The name later changed to Lewis Ham Islamic Center. In 2000, in reaction to the growth of Islam in the community and consequent need for a larger space, the mosque moved to Lewis Ham High Street, where it has been since. From the experience of Imam Shaquille Beg, who has been the presiding Imam for the Lewis Ham Mosque for over 20 years, Islam has grown tremendously compared to when it started. About 20 years ago, it used to be him and just a couple of people who would perform the daily prayers and a few additional people on Jumu'at days. From that, Lewis Ham Muslim community has grown to hundreds, offering the daily prayers at a time and about 3,000 Muslims present on Jumu'at days. So yeah, one of our first questions that we have for Imam is what was Lusham like when you came here? MashaAllah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Firstly, a uh, big thanks, a big gratitude to Abdul Basit and uh, Abdul Latif uh, for giving me this opportunity. But uh, I wouldn't say, you know, in terms of the community, I actually want to firstly take the opportunity to thank you both. I know, inshallah, in the masjid, we've kind of like in smaller groups thank you both but you both being leaders in the community and especially running kind of like our youth projects and Abdul Basit being yeah, you know one of our early youth club leaders still kind of like supporting us in our youth activity so may Allah Ta'ala reward you all with khair mm -hmm. and increase you in khair yeah, yeah so in terms of you know how was it like um, uh, my primary education was here mm -hmm. uh, I was born in Kenya Nairobi I came here when I was around seven and a half so primary education secondary education uh, college as well I completed here but early years from a let's say Islamic kind of like angle perspective you would not see a Muslim in Lucian mm. you would not see a single hijabi sister in, in Lucian mm. talk about the borough of Lucian you know so from a Muslim Islamic perspective how it was then and now Alhamdulillah across Lucian you'll see hijab you'll see niqab you'll see you know uh, Muslim present, you'll see you know the masjid and vibrant I remember when I did become an imam for Fajr sometimes it's just me Mm. Opening, closing, giving the other iqamah and leading. Mm. Dhuhr, on a good day you're getting three people mm. with yourself. And now look, you know, Fajr you might have a hundred. Mm. Dhuhr you might have a hundred. Jum'ah Jum three thousand. Jum'ah you have, you know, thousands and so on. Mm. So from that perspective, yes, a big change. Activities at Lewis Ham Islamic Center. As stated previously in this video, Lewis Ham Islamic Center is not just a mosque, but a hub of different activities aimed at ensuring a robust community engagement and protection of the Islamic community. Lewis Ham Mosque offers a variety of activities including daily and Jamaat prayers, religious advice and counseling, first Lewis Ham Park Scout Group, Wing Chun, a system of self-defense that uses speed and skill to overcome opponents, utilizing refined movements, keeping kicking techniques below the waist level, marriage solemnization, Young Muslim Academy. Outside the just listed activities, Lewis Ham Islamic Center engaged the community through many different initiatives. Because the south side of London is notorious for violent crimes and other vices, with youths largely at the forefront of these social anomaly, 
it became imperative for anyone who cared enough to look for ways to divert the youth's attention from crime to rewarding ventures. To nurture the youths in the community in upright manners and effectively take their attention away from the crime that seems to be everywhere around them. The Lewis Ham Islamic Center started the LIC Youth Club and the LIC Football Club to nurture young football talents. Aside from that, the center also encourages community support for any young talent in any halal sport, motivating them to become the best they can ever be. A tour of the mosque's social media channels reveals their different efforts at community engagement, knowledge impartation, worship, and personal development of members of the community. Work outside the UK. The Lewis Ham Islamic Center organized donation to sponsor relief materials for the victims of the Turkish and Syrian earthquake and the recent one in Morocco. The mosque also consistently highlights the plight of the Palestinian citizens in the hand of their oppressors and call for more honest action from world leaders and influential people and organizations all over the world. Spread of Islam Lewis Ham Mosque's most inspiring success story is the ability to spread knowledge of Islam to whoever care to listen, both Muslims and non-Muslims. This in turn has ensured the mosque attracts quite a good number of people willing to take the Shahada and become lifelong Muslims. Perhaps the main reason for this video in the mosque has become synonymous with conversion to Islam among many of the other initiatives it is known for. A glance at any of the mosque's social media channels reveals that people taking the Shahada is a consistent activity in the mosque, one that occurs almost every other day. As a potential guest, the Imam of Lewis Ham Mosque revealed that about 10,000 people have taken the Shahada since he became the Imam about 20 years ago. I think 2000 it was maybe 4%. Mm. 2011 it went up to 7. Point, maybe 8%. So it nearly doubled. Mm. And now 2021, mm. you know, I'm sure there's uh, there's been a bigger increase. Remember there's an increase of number of shahadas. Yeah. Every day coming yeah. into Islam literally. I mean today, alhamdulillah, today there's been a shahada of a mm. sister mm. every yeah. week there's somebody coming into the deen and so on. Mm. How many people would you say have embraced Islam uh, since you uh, become the Imam of, of Lushim Islamic Center? Okay, well, like thousands, mm -hmm. thousands. I mean, if I was to put a finger, I'd say about 10,000. Mm -hmm. One of the most notable individuals who has been a beneficiary of Lewis Ham Mosque's efforts is Alfie Best Jr., one of the richest young people in the UK. Alfie and his friends had to cut short their lunch trip when one member, a Muslim revert of the group, informed them that his mother would be taking the Shahada in Lewis Ham Mosque. Alfie requested to follow him and he witnessed the whole process. He saw his friend cry as the mother was taking the Shahada and was moved. This moved Alfie so much that he requested for a Quran from the Imam. From that he decided to read the Quran and learn about Islam. He did twice and was convinced Islam was the religion for him even though he had never been religious all his life. Although Alfie didn't take the Shahada at Lewis Ham Mosque, he did learn about Islam and decided to become a Muslim there. Alfie, why did you convert to Islam? Uh, to be honest, only God can answer that question, but it was right for me. It felt right at the time. I never really had a religion. I've never really been a religious person. Uh, and I believed that it would help me, and it has helped me ever since that. I uh, took my shahada and reverted to Islam, and I think it would help anybody. Many notable individuals have become Muslims in Lewis Ham Mosque and remain Muslims till date. Lewis Ham Mosque has received several commendations from the city council, local organizations, member of parliament representing Lewis Ham, educational institutions, Christian leaders, and notable members of the local community for their efforts in bringing peace and fostering positive community engagement. The growing Muslim community has necessitated the need for a larger space for the Lewis Ham Mosque. And earlier this year, the mosque submitted approval request and started receiving donations for a new purpose-built mosque 
an Islamic center to cater for the growing community.